What's going on? This is Martin. Welcome to this video where I will show you step by step on how you can do an iCloud unlock on your Apple device in under five minutes using our revolutionary iCloud activation lock removal software called Exodus Super Unlock. I want to give a big thanks to MacCrunch.com for allowing me to present this to you guys today. Check out our YouTube channel in the description below. Let's get started with the iCloud Unlock. Here we have the home screen of the software. As you can see, it's super straightforward and easy to use. Here we'll have the option to remove your iCloud lock and do modifications to your device, such as remove the carrier blacklist. Exodus Super Unlock also comes with an IMEI unlock feature allowing you to unlock up to 200 devices a month without physically having them with you. Great! So my iPhone 7 with the latest iOS version is connected to my computer now. It shows up on the bottom left of the home screen. To configure the software to remove the iCloud activation, click on the Cloud Preferences button. To the right and select the Delete iCloud Metadata checkbox. This will wipe all iCloud information from your device, allowing you to sign in and connect a fresh iCloud account to your device. Optionally, you can click the Cellular Settings button to the left and select the new IMEI, which will remove the carrier blacklist from your phone as well. But because I'm using my personal phone for this example, this won't be necessary. After that's done, simply press the Continue button on the button right. Not everyone can afford the premium version of Exodus Super Unlock for a short time. We're providing a freeware version to Mac Crunch viewers only. This special version is available on MacCrunch.com and you can head right over to the download page by using the link in the description below. If you do not want to download the software, the guys at Mac Crunch will pick five lucky people each day to provide free unlocks to subscribers using Exodus Super Unlock. Simply subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment with your IMEI, your country, and iPhone model to enter. Okay guys, we're good to go. All you have to do now is ensure your iPhone is connected with a certified lightning cable and click reboot iPhone to safe mode. The software will one last time confirm that the actions you've chosen are correct. And once you've verified everything, just click reboot to safe mode and continue. And you'll be on your way. Now the iPhone is rebooting into safe mode, allowing the software to access the file system of the device. Do not disconnect your device at this step, it's important. This can take anywhere from 2 to 10 minutes depending on how new your iPhone is. So let's jump right ahead here. Great, my iPhone finally turned back on. All that's required now is tapping on trust on your iPhone screen to initiate the unlocking process. After tapping trust on your iPhone, you'll see that the Exodus Super Unlock is now configuring the changes to your device's system. Careful though, if you disconnect your iPhone now, you will end up with a brick. Make sure it's connected properly to your computer and if you're using a laptop that is charged, I suggest you just leave your computer do its thing until it's done to avoid any complications. This step will take another 5 to 10 minutes. So let's skip forward a few minutes here. The software is done now and automatically rebooted the iPhone. This time around, no iCloud login information will be asked for, and you can either skip the iCloud page or set up your own account. You are good to go now and use your iPhone like it's brand new out of the box with no issues whatsoever. We're done here, guys. Thanks for your time. I'm glad you've watched this video till the end. Once again, I want to thank the guys at MacCrunch.com for allowing me to show you this amazing iCloud Unlock software here today. If you want to grab the special freeware version of Exodus Super Unlock, head to the description below and grab it. Also, check out our own YouTube channel. It's right below the download link.